What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Nerd Round. I'm Kyle the Wanderer, and on today's Card Vault series, I'm going to show you the Pokemon card from Base Set Unlimited. Number 52, Machop. So, without further ado, let's reveal the card. So there it is, the Pokemon card Machop from Base Set Unlimited. Now you can see in the top left corner of the card that this is a basic stage Pokemon card. Pokemon cards are the main cards used in the game to battle your opponents. Basic Pokemon cards can be put into play directly without any requirements. Below the stage title, you have the title of the card which in this case is Machop. In the top right corner of the card, you have the Pokemon's HP or hit points, which in this case is 50. Next to that, you have the symbol of the Pokemon's energy type, which in this case is fighting. Below that, you have the card illustration. We'll take a closer look at that in a moment. Below the illustration, you have some Pokedex data. Machop is a super power Pokemon. Its average length is 2 feet 7 inches. Its average weight is 43 pounds. Below the data, you have the Pokemon's attack moves or abilities. Machop has the move Low Kick. The attack does 20 damage, and the requirement to use the attack is 1 Fighting Energy. Underneath the moves on the left side, you have the Pokemon's weakness, which in this case is Psychic. In the center, you have the Pokemon's resistance, which in this case, Machop doesn't have a resistance. On the right side, you have the Pokemon's retreat cost, which in this case is one energy. Below this, you have the Pokemon's Pokedex entry, which reads as follows. Loves to build its muscles, it trains in all styles of martial arts to become even stronger. After that, you have the featured Pokemon's current level, which in this case is level 20. Next to that, you have the Pokemon's Pokedex number, which in this case is Pokedex number 66. Down in the right corner is the card set number, which is number 52 out of 102. Next to that, you have the card rarity symbol. The circle represents a common card. To the left of the set number, you have the copyright information, which is owned by Nintendo, Creatures, and Game Freak, and the card is made by Wizards. To the left of the copyright, you have the illustration artist. This card was illustrated by Mitsuhiro Arita. Speaking of the illustration, let's take a closer look at it now. The illustration features drawn artwork of a gray, humanoid-like creature. The Machop has a round, gray, frog-like face, with its nose and mouth area forming a sort of protruding round beak. The Machop's mouth is closed and wide, with a slight upward smirk. Above Machop's mouth are two black slits for nostrils. Above the beak portion of Machop's face are two hill-shaped eyes with red pupils that are looking upwards. Below Machop's eyes are two rosy pink cheeks. On top of Machop's head are three rows of yellowish-brown ridges similar to that of a Dilophosaurus from Jurassic Park. Below Machop's head, with not much neck to speak of, is its small, rounded, gray body. On the left and right side of Machop's chest are three lines resembling ribs. Below the lines is a rounded gut, followed by Machop's two short gray legs with toeless, rounded feet. Behind the Machop is a short, cone-shaped gray tail. The Machop has two big and muscled gray arms with hands that consist of three fingers and one thumb. In the illustration, the Machop's right arm is folded inwards with its elbow sticking out and its hand resting at its hip. 
the Machop's left arm is extended outwards at a sort of 90 degree angle and effortlessly lifting a larger than itself round purplish brown boulder above its head. The Machop is standing on a purplish gray rocky peak. In the background, you can see the curvature of the world on the horizon. There are yellow and white colors directly behind Machop along the horizon that look like the setting sun, which give the distant rivers, lakes, and green grassland an orange tone. Above the curved horizon is a light blue sky, with white clouds in the top left and right corners of the illustration. A little bit of trivia about this card. The Machop in the illustration is slightly unique in that Machop generally have four fingers and one thumb rather than three fingers and one thumb that is shown in the illustration. Also, the three ridges on Machop's head tend to be a more dull brown color rather than the more yellow tone in the artwork. Another bit of trivia, the illustration of this card is very reminiscent to the Greek mythology of the Titan Atlas and could perhaps be the inspiration for the artwork design. And there you go, that about wraps up our up close look at the Pokemon card Machop from Base Set Unlimited. Stay tuned for the next card in this Card Vault series presented by the Nerd Realm. So, what are your thoughts on this card? And did you ever own a copy of this card? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you'd like to see more, please hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you can be notified when new videos are live. These simple actions will help to greatly support this channel. If you'd like to help support this channel to grow even more, visit my Patreon page at patreon.com slash thenerdrealm where you can receive exclusive benefits such as early access to videos and more. And if you'd like to get your hands on your own Pokemon cards, visit my web store, trainermerch.com, where we have thousands of Pokemon card singles and codes, and every purchase helps to directly support this channel. Check out these next videos on the screen. Thanks for watching, and as always, keep it nerdy.